Greetings, Vibe Squad. Hi. It's 11-11. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Y'all know 11-11 is a beautiful number. It's a message from your spirit guides letting you know that you're on the right path to mind your thoughts. Good things are coming. Um, so, I mean, 11-11 is pretty dope. And today is 11-11, right? November 11th. Um, usually, I know, I usually like sage in my videos, but I want to do Palo Santo. Some people call it Hollywood. It smells so good like peppermint. Make sure you have windows open because <laughs> we don't want the evil spirits or negative energy just running around in circles in our homes. I have a cold too, guys, so if it sounds like I'm breathing hard, I am. I'm trying to breathe. But, um, yeah, I like to sage, get rid of any negative thoughts, any negative energy. I like to do that while I'm making my videos so that my thoughts can be clear and no negativity or negative spirits try to interfere with my beautiful video, with my beautiful vibe squad. Um, this smells so good. I just love it. And some people say that, like I said, that it's stronger than sage, but... Who knows? But both sage and palo santo not only get rid of negative spirits, but it purifies. I think they say like 99% or 95% of the germs in the air. So that's pretty dope, right? Anywho, as always, y'all know I'm always sipping my tea. I have my Buddha cup with my yogi, what is it, the perfect energy, which is perfect for today's video. I love yogi. Sometimes they give you these cute little tips on the side of the box on how to do different yoga poses and it's like a spiritual company and they also put inspirational message messages on their tags and this one today says socialize with passion kindness and grace mm. i'll sip to that but anyway guys um i don't want to make my video too long but <clears throat> okay i'm back <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to make my video too long, but I do want to speak to my people that feels the pressure of meditation, crystals, palo santo, sage, everything, flow of the water, things that we use um, that aids within our spirituality. People feel as though because they don't have or can't afford or don't have time to use those things or to meditate words of affirmation daily that they are not on the right path to their spiritual journey and i'm here to tell you that that is totally incorrect um as far as the cost of it i mean yeah you can get three dollar palo santo or six dollar sage or you know seven dollar five dollar crystals and that may sound like a small amount to some people but some people that is a big amount when you have zero right so think about some of the things you use around your house in the daily like salt basil leaves things you cook with herbs you can you know go online and look up some herbs and things and salt get rid of negative energy as well and you know basil leaves and stuff like that to welcome positive energy and things like that so you can use things around your house you don't have to go out and buy if you don't have it um also if you do have it and you do go out and buy it and you're not able to use it every day that does not mean that you're not doing the right things or that you're not on the right path. It just means that life happens, right? And so many of us focus on the spiritual aspect. I'm sorry. Woo, rewind. Physical aspect of spirituality that you neglect the mental aspect of it. So spirit, the physical part, okay, yes, it aids and it helps and things like that. But you have to get the mental part down pat first right so you have to go and deal with that shadow work you have to go deep inside yourself and deal with the traumatic things and dark things that happen to you that you haven't yet addressed um that causes you to be a negative person or toxic or hinder you from moving on to your next good milestone in life no matter your age race so what you believe in right we all have to deal with the darkness inside of us in order to be able to access the light because 
darkness don't drive out darkness only light can do that light don't drive out light only darkness can do that i think that was Martin Luther king <laughs> but yeah so it's a balance there's no darkness without light and no light without darkness so you have to balance yourself you can't be pure dark and you can't be pure light come on now no one is pure light everyone gets mad being a spiritual person don't mean you just oh i'm so happy and positive all the time huh no you have to let out your dark side or your anger every now and again to balance yourself as well you know it's just that being spiritual you know how to deal with it a little bit more and you don't hold on to it and manifest all that hate and, and negativity all the time and when you into spirituality you know how to deal with that negative part you know sit in it allow yourself to feel it let it go move on that's the only difference that we know how to deal with it and and move on from it or let it go versus sit in it and allow it to shape us into the people who we are so my video today is basically telling you my vibe squad um new spiritual all spiritual people that's been in it that don't let the pressure of what other people doing to tell you you're supposed to do hinder you from your path for some from something beautiful no matter what that path is no matter if you believe in god if you don't believe in god if you believe in buddha no matter what religion because i believe there's truth in all religions okay so you just have to be confident within yourself and go about what you feel and what you put out into the universe comes back and that's why it's so good to ground and and to interact with the universe so much because you do get that power and confidence from the universe and my wife and i go to the park take off our shoes we let the universe just float into our bodies we lay on the grass and things like that um just to feel the energy from the universe um because these crystals and things like that they are from the universe and they carry energy but it's all about the intent the intentions of what you put into it right so you can get a tiger's eye tiger's eye help you speak your mind be brave and bold maybe you want to tell your boss about that race or maybe you want to tell that person that's been doing you wrong how they've been doing you wrong but you don't have enough confidence or courage so you put the good that confident and courage intentions into that tiger's eye and then you wear it or put it in your pocket or whatever it is you want to do with it and it gives you that confidence to speak and just knowing that it's there knowing that you put them intentions in it you even if you just think back on it like i can do this i have my tiger's eye i can do this even if it's a mental thing because some people say that's just mental well guess what if it's just mental and it's helping you then do it think about your tiger's eye think about that energy you're getting from the tiger's eye when you're telling that person the things you want or need from them the respect the the love or whatever it is so even if you get the physical things the physical aspect of spirituality means nothing if you have if you don't have the intentions because if you go buy a crystal from someone and they may have prayed something negative over it or whatever environment they keep it stored in may be a negative environment or whatever whatever have you a negative people around it and that's the intentions that's in that crystal so then you buy it and then you have those intentions so you have to bless and put your intentions on everything which means it's all about intentions, manifestations, and your mindset. So, no. Having the physical part is not what makes you a good spiritualist or, or your journey the best. Having the mental aspect of it down pat is what makes you good. Don't put that pressure on yourself of, I can't meditate every day. I can't do words of affirmations every day. So, I'm not like, that, that means I'm, I'm falling off my journey. No, that means life happens. And you can be in your car, driving to work, you know, take a little three minutes out and say some affirmations. I am powerful. I will have a good day. I am all things of the universe. Money comes to me easily. Boom, bam, that's done. You can at the rate, like, take a deep breath. <sighs> let it out inhale positivity exhale negativity that's my favorite thing to do especially when somebody is aggravating me or about somebody is trying to provoke an argument or whatever have you one second the kids just got off school so let me close my window sorry guys so the elementary kids just got off the bus you know they excited to be home to see their parents so they're really loud but anyway <laughs> back to what i was saying um 
I love to inhale positivity, exhale negativity. Um, if somebody's trying to provoke me into an argument or, you know, cut in front of me while I'm driving or healthy debates is what I call them, healthy debates. I like to inhale positivity, exhale negativity. It works for me all the time. Um, you can do a quick one minute meditation in your mind, quiet your mind, take deep breaths and just let all your feelings, feel everything you're feeling, feel all the thoughts, let the thoughts pass through. Boom. That's a meditation. You don't have to go deep into meditation or deep into affirmations or whatever it is just to feel as though you're doing the right thing. It can be a quick one, two. It can be a quick three, four. Yes, every now and then you need a deep spiritual cleansing, spiritual bath, a deep spiritual healing, a nice five or ten minute meditation just to balance your chakras and things like that but that's not an every single day thing because life happens so don't let the pressure of what society or what other people telling you or what you see people on their page because they have time all day to sit on their page and meditate and do that some people careers you know some people are stay at home moms everybody don't have the same busy schedule and busy life as you or me or whoever so don't think that because they're doing it every day they're on a higher vibrational level than you it just means they have more time than you so let's not let things like that discourage us from starting our path to peace and that's what I like to call it. I like to call it my path to peace. You know, some people be like, spirituality, well, what is that? Well, isn't it the same of this and that? And I believe in God, don't get me wrong. I praise and worship God the way that I praise and worship God and what feels right to me and what feels right to my space and my energy and my mindset. And I connect with him the way that helps me feel like I'm connected to him more, not the way nobody else telling me or no rules or regulations. When I connect and I feel it, I know it's right because it's me and and God's relationship, not you and yours. Nobody can tell you how to be spiritual. Nobody can tell you who to be spiritual with. Nobody can tell you nothing, none of that. You can research all kinds of YouTube videos and Google all you want. You have to do what resonates with your spirit and your soul. And the first thing to do with any kind of trying to might find any kind of like <laughs> anyway, any kind of like um honestly I forgot what I was saying <laughs> that's just me you know if y'all watch my my first video I said I'm forgetful I'm funny I'm ADD I'm just happy I'm just me that's who I am so anyway I'm not gonna let the bad spirits get me down. No, I'm just kidding. But I think I left off saying that if you go by how other people are telling you to live your life or to be spiritual, you are going by their spiritual relationship that they have with God or the universe or the spirit guides or the ancestors. You have to find your own voice and your what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you feel happy and peaceful and um like oh i didn't know what i was saying look at that so i remember i was saying i like to call it um basically finding your peace right um because people often want to know what is spirituality how you do this how you do that how you do that it's just a path to peace that's it it's a path to peace not the pressure of wait wait let me follow this let me follow that let me do this let me do that it's just you and god you and your ancestors you and your spirit it's you and whatever you worship it's y'all understanding of what gets you through life so many people get to act, try to be spiritual because beyonce is into spirituality and janae eichel summer walker jim carrey Oprah and you know Will Smith and they see that they famous and they rich and they think oh it's just because of spirituality and those people have stories those people been through certain things and had to deal with their darkness and things like that to get where they are and who to say they're still not dealing with it so stop trying to go off other people's path and journeys on why you want to do something and resonate what feels good with you with yourself okay so it's like yeah this feel good to me 
But the first thing we have to do is deal with our traumas and our darkness. We have to be real with ourselves. We can't push all the bad under the rug and try to start something new. No, you have to deal with all those skeletons in your closet, all that darkness, so that when you do start your new path, it's a true new path. It's not a a hidden path or you being fake or trying to be somebody else. It's a real new you that dealt with the trauma and on your way away from the drama, okay? It's on your way to a new way of living, a new way of peace. That's all life is really about. Y'all make it so complicated of, oh, you're not supposed to do this. Oh, you're not. No, it's about peace and love, putting out positive energy, positive vibes, helping those who you can or if you can't, if you don't have enough, if your cup is empty, you can't pour from it. So guess what? I'm sorry. I love you. I'm here from you. You need to talk, but I got my own things going on right now, so I can't even help you, but I can find you somebody who can or I can help you as much as I can or whatever the case may be. But you have to get you right first. Even as far as your kids go. If you're not right mentally, you can't help them kids. You can't be there for them kids. So you have to get yourself right. You have to figure out what will make you happy. You have to just live within your truth. And I'm telling you, it feels so good. Even when bad things happen, when you're living in your truth, it's kind of like it happened. I'm not going to sit in it and let me get let it get me down or let it make me feel like I'm less than a person because something bad happened. Mm -mm. Definitely not. Nope. That lets me know that life is a balance. I had all this light coming, so I knew darkness was coming, but now I'm more prepared. Now I know how to deal with it, right? Being a spirituality or being a spiritual person doesn't mean that we're all light and love and peace and candy and rainbows. That does not mean that I'm so tired of people saying, oh, you're supposed to be spiritual. Why are you doing that? Or why are you talking like that? Or why are you mad? Because I'm human and I'm real and I'm not being fake. <laughs> Me being spiritual does not mean that I don't get angry or upset. The difference between being into spirituality when you're made mad or upset is this time I know how to balance it correctly i know how to deal with it i know how to not run from it and let it manifest and make me mad and dictate the rest of my day the rest of my week the rest of my month what i know how to do is feel those feelings acknowledge that they're there move on i'm gonna acknowledge it speak my peace if i want to be mad for five or ten or fifteen minutes that's all you get from me that's the only energy you get from me and then I'm moving on to figure out how I can better it or how I can change it. That's the only difference. The difference in spirituality is I don't get mad. I know how to deal with my mad now. I know how to juggle and balance my mad. And I didn't want to go over 15 minutes, y'all. I talk so much. It's crazy. Um, I just love talking to my vibe squad. And I love the responses. Oh, my gosh. The love and response that I get from people I don't even know. And I didn't, I'm not even going to say strangers because you're not a stranger. You're a part of my Vibe Squad family because you guys tell me how much I helped you on your journey and how I encourage you to step out on faith and now you're living this peaceful life and not perfect, but peaceful. People get it confused. Perfect, peaceful. There's two different things. Nothing is perfect, right? So at the end of the day, I love y'all for all that feedback. Keep it coming because that's what keep me going. It feels me. Just like y'all say, I'm feeling you guys. You know, it's... Um, a mutual relationship the more i feel you the more you feel me so i am just and i'm saying fuel like putting gas in the car not feel um yeah so <laughs> and oh look at my bracelet guys and i mean of course we're gonna be selling it at puffin vibes you know i just put the cage on the bracelet um i attached it with my little jewelry kit and you can take the crystal out and replace it with anyone you want you can get the necklaces that way you can just switch up however you feeling you feeling love you wear your rose quartz you feeling like you need to speak your mind you do your tiger's eye you need some protection you do your black tourmaline you can just switch them out into the cage however you want it's not wire wrapped it's actually in the cage and wear it so let me know if you're like me to make you one i'll be adding them to our you know page soon but um, I love you guys. It's 11-11. Um, let's say some affirmations. 
Let's get outside, enjoy nature. Let's ask our spirit guides and God and the universe to make the rest of the end of this year just as beautiful as next year um, will be. And let's just stop worrying about the pressures of how society is saying that we have to be and what we have to do and focus on our pet to peace, right? Pet to peace. I love it. Thanks for vibing with me, y'all. Peace, love, light, and all that.